Hey guys, welcome back to the Banner Saga. This game has really got its claws into me at the minute, so uh, I'll be playing a lot more of it, I think, and uploading a good bit more. But uh, let's get straight into it. The last time we left off, we were just about to hit the gates of Frostveller, I think. Uh, but the one thing I'd like to say before we go on is that I had it on easy mode because I thought it would enhance the story if the battles were a bit shorter, but. The last battle we fought was in an unnamed village where we picked up Hogan and Mogan and it it was so easy that I kind of felt like it was it was sort of needlessly brutal or something. It was as if, um, I'll put it this way, it was kind of like Washita River only without a river and they weren't Cheyenne. It was a, a bit of a massacre. So uh, we'll be turning the difficulty off up but I think we can do that from inside the game I hope. Fairly sure you can do it on the fly. Uh, let me just put the face cam back on. And before, oh, we've got a, we've got an event. Perfect timing. Difficulty. Back on to normal. Uh, Dredge shouts a man from the back of the caravan. Oh no, not this bastard again! It's Ralfenswarter, the unabashed drunk, staggering towards you, looking not entirely sober. He screams again, pointing to trees in the distance. Fear races through the caravan as fighters pull their weapons. Scouts return with no sightings and furious men surround Raff and Zvarder. Uh Now this is the question, isn't it? Is this the boy who cried wolf? Or in this case, the drunk who cried dredge? He's never been truthful or trustworthy before. I think this is the game doing a double bluff on me, to be honest. So let's... I've tried everything else. Mob justice is. A swift and brutal beating before Draft and Spider. Whoops. One that, well, I mean, I didn't think they were gonna circle around him and kiss him to death. I mean, one that leaves him begging for mercy. The next time he is offered meat, the man shies away in fear. As for the rest of the caravan, everyone seems pretty satisfied. There you are, kids. You can solve everything through violence. Everything. And here we are at Frostveller at last. Once a strong, thriving city, the walls of Frostveller now just keep the howling winds at bay. With luck, they'll hold out against Dredge as well. You jostle through fallow crowds of sunken faces who appear as though they're being f they've been freezing in front of Frostfeller for days. The gates are closed. You come to a stop at the bottom of the hill. Th this isn't looking good. Why are there so many people in the fields? We can't stay outside in the open like this. Oddly find you amongst the many refugees. Rook, I just talked to some of the women here. Nobody is being let into the city. Why? It's overrun with Val from Blotzbalker, Greyhorn, people from Betra, all the nearby villages. The dredge are everywhere. And the chieftain of Frostfeller has locked himself in his great hall. That's when they close the gates. When the dredge come, these hills will turn red. We have to get in there. We're getting in. Don't have a choice. I can get that gate open. Let's see if there's any other way before we start breaking down gates. I wasn't gonna break it. Just push really, really hard. <laughs> I think we should do that just for the hell of it. Let's go straight for the gate. You approach the gate, where hundreds of people have gathered. In the trodden, bloody space in front of the door, several pincushion bodies lie unclaimed, as though they simply belong there. Hmm, not the best of omens. Arches up on the walls make it clear that nobody will be getting in. Men and women below intermittently call for mercy and reason, when they're not flinging stones and curses. 
Yeah, did you really just expect we'd push our way in, Ivor? I'm willing to try, grunts Ivor, despite sizing up doors that looked like they could hold back an army. And when men start shooting arrows and pouring out to stop you, then you kill them, he says. You're not sure this is the most sound plan. Yeah, let's do it. Frontal assault. Ivor slings his shield over his back. He steps up to the gates alone. Archers above watch, more curious than anything else. Ivor plants his feet and puts his shoulder against the massive door. Aside from a long wooden creak, nothing is happening. Oh dear. Oh. Then, unbelievably, the doors start trembling. The archers shout, more to those inside the walls than out. The creaking becomes louder, then a crack. Then the doors part, slightly. Help him, you shout to the rest of the caravan. When you look back again, you see that nearly everyone is thrown in to push. The gate finally succumbs under your combined effort and you find yourself face to face with dumbfounded guards. You bark at the mob to attack. Woof! It's probably not the best idea slaughtering um, the guys whose city we're trying to get into, but okay. Uh, let's see, we have an audience for a start. Quite a big audience. Holy shit. And I've spotted a problem immediately. We have a let with us, and a let doesn't clearly doesn't want to kill people. That could be a problem. I may end up not being able to use her at all here. Um, if I wish to preserve her innocence, I guess. On the other hand, I could just throw her in, because this is something that might be necessary. Again, choices. Okay, we're going to put Ivor on the right. And we'll have... Rook and Trevigi and Hogan on this side. We'll put Alet here, which is in not in harm's way, and we'll throw Odd Leaf. Uh, see, the arch is going to be a problem. If I leave her out on her own, hmm, I'll have to think about that. But this is where the real cluster of enemies are the dangerous ones. I don't know who this guy is. He's a thrasher. Alright, let's give it a try. Push Ivor up one. Good job she can shoot him there. Let's push Hogan up as well. Who's going next? It's him. If I push Hogan up too far, he'll go for Hogan instead of Ivor, which is not what I want. So I'll push him up just beside Ivor. Hopefully he won't be able to reach. Oh, we will. Oh, no, we won't. All right. <laughs> That's fine by me. Let's throw... Yeah, change of plan. Let's throw Rook to the other side and get some armor damage in on this guy. He's probably our biggest threat. <coughs> oh, well done. Okay, Trevigi, we'll put you up beside Ivor. See if we can draw some of these uh, raiders out. And that'll end us the turn. Yep, yeah, they're moving, at least. Okay, now I can't get in. I can't get Old Leaf in range of your woman there, but. Can I get her in range of the backbiter? I can, but then he's probably gonna come and rip her a new one, so. Who's moving next is her. And where can she move to? Out that way. Let's... Oh, I can't do a rain of arms there. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's put one there and hope that it catches the backbiter. It'll probably only do him one damage anyway, but... She's taking a shot. Ivor. Quite a lot of damage. Alright, I'll let. I'm hoping I don't need to involve her in this, but we'll see as it progresses. Um, will that... I think that will actually hurt me, so... Let's push Ivor straight in. No guts, no glory. And you know what? We'll wall up these three. Get out! <laughs> that went quite well. Okay. Rook 
Oh, it's not Rick, it's Hogan. Hmm. Let's push Hogan up beside Ivor. Get some armor beside him. There we are. We'll leave it there. Oh, he is taking big chunks out of Ivor's armor. Too many. Okay, we'll get Rook on this. I'm going to leave Rook up here, I think, for protecting. I, will, I would say protecting the archers, but for protecting Old Leaf, since Alette has uh, pretty much made her position quite clear. So let's get a lot of damage. Oh, it's a pity I nearly could have killed her. If he'd been slight loose! <laughs> If it had been slightly higher level, we'd have done that. Okay, let's push Dravigi in as well. Uh, and Peel only goes in the same direction. So, okay, so we can attack this guy diagonally, and we'll do a lot of armor damage to him. That's nice. Oof, I'm worried about Ivor's armor though. That's turning quite bad. Who's next? Her. So really, I should try and kill her. And him after that. Oh, I, I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't there. Uh, well, she'll do me less damage than he will, so... Let's mm. compromise and attack him instead. <laughs> Because that makes total sense. Still, I think he has them. Well, he started with the most armor out of all. Of them. Oh, Ivor. Shite. We're doing fine apart from Ivor's armor and health starting to be whittled down quite badly. Well, at least he gets another go now. Uh, do we have enough? We don't even have any extra stamina. Let's do a battering ram and get rid of these two. Is that going to hit? It's gonna hit Hogan? I'll give it a try anyway. Uh, no, that's fine, that went quite well. That didn't. Trevigi should be able to start making a big dent in this guy's armor now. Seven damage! Are you kidding? Holy fuck! Thankfully, Rook can kill this guy in one hit. Wow. Remind me to take backbiters down at every cut and turn. That is disgusting. How much can Trevigi do to him? Three. He's only got ten. I could do six to him then. I think we might have to. Oh, we can do seven. That's a f that's a five, not a three. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. I think we're gonna pull this back now. Although Ivor is gonna be going down. Eleven damage. Fucking hell. Ivor, please. She's only doing one strength damage, so she's not really a threat at all. Probably the next biggest threat is your man here. Down here, girl. <laughs> Fucking bollocks. This is far more tough than the last battle we fought, anyway, I can tell you that much. One damage. Uh, what does the. Whoops, let's not do that yet. What does the bloody fleal do attacks? Last hit adds plus one uh, for each adjacent ally. That's Trevigi, that he is adjacent. So. Does it say it? Does it attack for normal damage? Four attacks at one strength or armor. Um. Oh, we'll give it a try. This is getting kind of desperate, so. That oh, was mostly armor. Shit. He'd die in one hit now, but even. Oh, bollocks. Right, Rick. Do your stuff. 
but can't armor break at all? Oh, because he's not. Why is that? Does armor breaking take stamina? Or armor breaking takes willpower, does it? That's a bit odd. I didn't even know that, if that's the case. I'm gonna give him an extra willpower anyway. He doesn't need it to finish this guy, but still. Or, or, can he... See, he's down to three. Yeah. Okay, this guy is. Fire! Oh, she's putting a lot of willpower into that. Oh, Trevigi, bollocks! 80%? Needs no willpower? Oh, this is getting dodgy as hell. Oh, I don't even want to look at this. Thank fuck. Fucking Hogan's dying now, too. Wow. Alright. Trevigi's gonna go next. Oh, alert. I'm blaming Alette for this. This is disgusting. Oh, Alette! Why? If I win this without her, it'll be a miracle. Come on, Trevigi. Hang in there, son. Hang in there! How much she's won? Pretty much up to you at the minute, Rook. Don't you shoot my Rook. I didn't really want you to shoot my Trevigi either, but what can I do? Um. Hmm. They're all, they're both incredibly low. My best bet is probably to focus on her at this point. She has the most strength. If I do enough armor damage, Rook will batter her, but. Still has 11 strength. Fine. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. So we no, we don't have any willpower left. So it won't be a kill. Better nothing. Oof, he is a real bastard when it comes to armor uh, breaking. Still, oh, she's too close. Do six to him. She can kill. She can basically kill anybody at this point. Okay, let's move away and kill the backbiter. Move him. Move her. Go on, old leaf. Bang, bitch. That's for killing Triggy and Ivor and all the people. Oh, we've paid a high price for Alette's innocence. A high price. The iron price, if you will. Get fucked. Take your best shot. The <laughs> best shot fucking floored odd leaf. Oh my. Well, it's the hell with you. Ah! Bastard. I certainly got a tougher fight, didn't I? If I'd have had Eagle in there, or even Mogan, I think that would have been five times easier. Oh, man. Guards who aren't lying at your feet run. A crowd of men and women scurry into the city while they have the chance, but it's only moments before a man wearing all black approaches with many more axemen at his back. What in the depths are you doing? Look at his eye twitch, and he is pissed. Really pissed. <laughs> Letting ourselves in? I see that. I'm very impressed. But all those people you just let in here, dead. All those women and children with you, 
dead. Thanks for killing the only ones holding this place together, Skull. What are you talking about? The man orders his guards to get the doors closed again before more refugees notice. If I knew there were fighters and Val outside, I would have brought you in. I'm Echel. I'm in charge here. Wind is coming. Wind is already here, clearly. Um, you heard about the chieftain? We heard he's hiding out in the Great Hall. Oh, really? You mean hiding out in a grave? He's eating worms, if that wasn't clear. What happened then here? Soon as they heard dredge were coming, anyone who couldn't swing an axe got one to the head. That's a short story, anyway. At least three clans in here warring over turf and food. And the worst of the godforsaken Val. He eyes Ivor and shrugs with exaggeration, as if simply stating the obvious. Eyes him with his mad wibble eye of twitchiness. We're in more danger here than out there. Look, I was in charge here before this thing went to crap. You got some people who can fight. You got a Val who apparently has the strength of a god. I can keep your flock safe in the Great Hall. You fight for me. And to take back Frostfella. I don't take sides. Too hard to tell when the good guys have become the bad. You got a point, Ivor. Fine. Cut these sheep loose and watch your own asses. What do I care? All I want to do right now is get out of the damned streets. Think carefully about what you want. Oh. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Um... The funniest things just popped into my head. I don't know if it has any relevance whatsoever. I should probably take Ivor's advice about not trusting people. But what popped into my head there was... Do you remember what Trevicky said uh, last episode? Something about not trusting people with helmets? Um, it could just be completely throwaway. But this is the only guy I've seen so far with a helmet. And the situation he's describing... You know, how do I know he's being truthful? It could be anything. To be honest, my first instinct here is to cut and run with everybody and just just go, but for the sake of finding out what's actually going on, I think I'm going to say we'll fend for ourselves uh, inside. So we'll stay in the city, but we're not taking up with him because we don't know who he is. You can feel Echel sizing you up on the spot, his hand hovering near his axe. He snorts through his nose, changing his mind. Good luck then. Hope we don't meet again, fighting for the same scraps. I hope so too. Your old leaf will be putting a fucking arrow right in that beady wee eye of yours. You dick! With the gates closed, Echel and his men disappear down dark alleys. Hope we know what we're doing. Well, I'm only taking your suggestions, Ivor. Well, that and the rantings of a madman who goes swimming in sub-zero temperatures. What could possibly go wrong? Making it up as we go, Ivor. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. Oh, chapter three. Little did they sleep. <laughs>